Parents, welcome to How to Teach Kids Often Confused and Misused Words. We are going to begin with our first pair of confused and misused words, accept and accept. In this pair of words, accept spelled A-C-C-E-P-T, is a verb, and it means to receive what is offered or given. In this example, the boy offers an apology when he says, I am so sorry, and the teacher receives it when she replies, I accept your apology. The word accept spelled E-X-C-E-P-T, is a preposition, and it means leaving out or not included. So according to the Burger Shack sign, we have cheeseburgers with everything except peppers. That means peppers were not included on his cheeseburger. Now have kids write the correct word accept or accept for each sentence. This is a completed example. In sentence number one, accept, A-C-C-E-P-T, is correct because I will receive the present. In sentence number two, accept. E-X-C-E-P-T is correct because we have not included the eggs. In sentence number three, accept A-C-C-E-P-T is correct because I will receive the invitation. In sentence number four, accept e x. C-E-P-T is correct because Tommy is not included in breakfast. In sentence number five, accept A-C-C-E-P-T is correct because I will receive your apology. In sentence number six, accept A-C-C-E-P-T is correct because I will receive your help. With planting. Our second pair of often confused and misused words are affect and effect. In this pair of words, affect, spelled A F F E C T, is a verb and it means to influence. In this example, Ben did not let his nerves affect his performance means he did not let his nerves influence his performance. The word effect, spelled E-F-F-E-C-T, is a down, and it means a result. So in this example, the effect was a happy audience. Effect means result. Now have kids write the correct word affect or effect for each sentence. And this is a completed example. One, a delicious cake was the effect of using a great recipe. Number two, Ben did not let his nerves affect his performance. Number three, the effect of the warm weather brought people to the ice cream shop. Number four, the team did not let their loss affect their team spirit. Number five, studying for a test could positively affect your grade. And number six, what is the effect of finishing the race first? Our third pair of often confused and misused words are already and already. 
In this pair of words, already is spelled A-L-R-E-A-D-Y. It is an adverb and it means telling when. In this example, I already did my homework. Already means the homework was completed. Our second example is two words, all, A-L-L, -L, and ready, R-E-A-D-Y. And it is a phrase meaning prepared. So when we look at the example, I am all ready to ride my skateboard to the park, he is prepared. And we can see he has his helmet and his pads on. Now have kids write the correct word or words already or all ready for each sentence. And this is the completed example. Our fourth pair of often confused and misused words are desert and dessert. In this pair of words, desert, spelled D-E-S-E-R-T, is a noun and it means dry land. In our example, the camels are walking in the desert. They are walking on dry land. And our second word, dessert, is spelled D E. S-S-E-R-T, and it is a noun that means sweet food. My favorite dessert is cheesecake. Have kids write the correct word, desert or dessert, for each sentence. And this is a completed example. After dinner, he will eat dessert. Cacti grow in the desert. My favorite dessert is cheesecake. They went to the ice cream shop for dessert. The camels were walking in the desert. The desert is hot. Our fifth pair of often confused and misused words are here and here. In this pair of words, here, spelled H-E-A-R, is a verb and it means aware of sound. So our example is, do you hear the birds singing? Our second word, here, spelled H-E-R-E, -E, is an adverb and it means in, at, or to this place. As in our example, my backpack is not here. Have kids write the correct word here, H-E-A-R, or here, H-E-R-E, -E, for each sentence. And this is a completed example. Our sixth pair of often confused and misused words are new and new. In this pair of words, the first word new, spelled N-E-W, is an adjective and it means recently. As in the sentence, he got a new bike. The second word new, spelled K-N-E-W, is a verb, and it means to be aware of, as in the sentence, she knew she needed to finish packing. Now have kids write the correct word, new, N-E-W, or new, K-N-E-W, for each sentence. And this is the completed example. 
Our seventh pair of often confused and misused words are our and are. In this pair of words, are, spelled O-U-R, is a possessive pronoun. It means belonging to. As in our sentence, we keep our books on the bookshelf. And our second word, are, spelled A-R-E, is a verb. It means to be. As in the sentence, we are good readers. Have kids write the correct words, are or are, for each sentence. And this is a completed example. Our eighth pair of often confused and misused words are right and right. The first word in this pair, right, spelled R-I-G-H-T, is an adjective and it means correct, on, or toward. As in our sentence, she had the right answers. In this sentence, right means correct. The second word, right, spelled W-R-I-T-E is a verb, and it means to make marks that represent letters, words, or numbers. As in our example, I love to write my friend's letters. Now have kids write the correct word, right, R-I-G-H-T, or right, W-R-I-T-E for each sentence. And this is a completed example. Our ninth pair of often confused and misused words are road and road. The first word in this pair, road, Spelled R-O-A-D is a noun. It is a route between destinations and cars usually travel on it. Our sentence, the house is next to this road. Our second word, road, spelled R-O-D-E is a verb. It is the past tense of ride. And our example is, she rode her horse on the farm. Have kids write the correct word, road, R-O-A-D, or road, R-O-D-E, for each sentence. This is a completed example. This is our 10th pair of often confused and misused words. In this pair of words, then is spelled T-H-A-N, and it is a preposition. It makes a comparison, as seen in our first sentence. He likes cheeseburgers more than he likes pizza. The second word, then, is spelled T-H-E-N. It is an adverb, and it means after that or next, as in the second sentence. Pour the cookie mix in the bowl, then add the eggs. Have kids write the correct word, then, T-H-A-N, or then, T-H-E-N, for each sentence. And this is a completed example. For review, have kids complete the easily confused words crossword puzzle. 
The answers for the clues are in the word bank and the choices are accept, here, new, our, road, then, and then. One across is road. Two across is here. Three across is new. And four across is then, T-H-A-N. Five down is accept. Six down is R. And seven down is then, T-H-E-N. If you found this video helpful, Please subscribe if you have already subscribed. Thank you. And as always, I will leave a link for all of the templates in the description section.